Hi, I'm Susan Colley and welcome to You're Not Alone, Surviving Your Child's Disability. Being bullied makes a child feel helpless and isolated, especially a child with a disability. Here to discuss bullying, its effects, signs and risks are Catherine Mays, Autism Project Advocate for Massachusetts Advocates for Children and Valerie McIver, Young Adult Fellow and also at the Massachusetts Advocates for Children. Um, hi, welcome. Hi, Hello. nice How to are see you. you. Hi. Good. Um, the first question is, what are some warning signs that your child uh, with a disability is being bullied? Well, that's a really good question, Susan, and it's different for every child. Mm -hmm. So any kind of anxiety about going to school would be an indication. Suddenly, if your child does not want to get on the bus would be a good indication. Mm -hmm. Even a child that does not speak, has no language, their behavior can tell you that they're worried about something occurring. Mm -hmm. um, so watching for changes in behavior would be really critical. Okay. Um, and that can be on particular days, because if Tuesday is gym day, and, and your child yeah, exactly, gym. and and your child starts showing, showing some anxiety, that would be a good sign. Also, to notice if things start being missing, backpacks or personal well, that's belongings. That's an interesting thing to think about. I never thought of that, the, the bully taking things. Exactly, or and I know that that happens. That backpacks get dumped. Um, clothing gets torn sometimes, but it's not the obvious um, indicators that we would imagine, like bruising or um, a child coming home and having tears on their faces. It, it can be a lot of nonverbal communication, mm -hmm. um, and that's what parents should walk out, watch out for, particularly with nonverbal children. Um, okay. With verbal kids, I think listening really hard. If you notice that um, your child is suddenly not talking about the lunchroom when they were happily talking about the lunchroom, that would be another indicator. Right. And Val, I don't know, what in your experience, um, did you come home sharing immediately if things were not right at school? When I was bullied, I knew that there was something wrong with my experience at school. Mm -hmm. But it took me a while to realize what specifically was throwing me off about school. So I would just come home, and even though I was in a safer space, I'd say, um, I'd just react really negatively or too big of a reaction for any situation that wouldn't normally throw me off. And my parents would say, is something bothering you? And I'd say, I don't know, or no or mm -hmm. something that didn't really help the situation because I might not even know. Right. So a student that I worked with that I was the advocate for um, was crying at night and became fearful of being left alone in her room. Wow. And so her parents noted that mm -hmm. and that was the first indication that they had. So wow. even if you're as articulate as Val, Right. You may not know how to describe what's happening. Well, my daughter is the same way. She doesn't know how to describe things. And sometimes she just says, if you ask her what's wrong, she'll say, I'm good, you know, or right. something like that. And so it's very difficult right. to tell what's going on with her. What are the psychological and behavioral risks for a child with a disability who's being bullied? Oh, they're huge. Um, I see, I work in the higher end of the autism spectrum, mm -hmm. mostly, um, and I see kids who are refusing to go to school at all. I see kids who are not able to access the curriculum in school. I see kids who experience real trauma by being bullied and um, they're needing cognitive behavioral therapy to help them to get past it. Wow. Um, and they're also needing to be taught what is bullying and how to respond to it. And I know, again, Val, you've had the experience of being bullied. What was the long-term impact on you? I think the long-term effect has more to do with just not trusting your gut anymore. You think, well, if everybody's saying to me that I'm X, Y, and Z, and those are all negative X, Y, and Zs, by the way, mm -hmm. then you think, well, I must be those things because you're younger and you just don't know right. any better or any right. different. And then when I got older, it was the same thing. I started not trusting 
that I could be a good person anymore because I thought that since they didn't think so, mm -hmm. they must be better than me, right. and so wow. on. Right. Can you clarify then uh, what exactly is bullying? Yes. Um, under the law, bullying is repeated incidents which make a student feel unsafe at school, which make them unable to access the curriculum, which make them feel threatened. Mm -hmm. And bullying can be verbal, it can be cyberbullying, electronic media, mm -hmm. it can be um, in written material, it can be nonverbal um, assaults, to use that word. Mm -hmm. And um, assault can be everything from actual physical um, harm to people repeatedly doing things which they know will get a rise out of the disabled person. Mm -hmm. So in one school that I was working with a client, um, students had figured out if they all dropped their pencils or if they bumped into the child. Um, they would eventually get a rise out of him. And that's what wow. they were after was the rise. The rise yep. And it was very, very complicated um, for that child. And the kids knew and they would still go after it. Wow. My son's own case, it was staff at the school that he was at who bullied him. And You're they kidding. No, I wish I was, but I'm not. Um, and they frequently used the R word um, to uh, address him. Um, until it became clear to us and we put a stop to it. Wow. But even, uh, you know, there was this big question about, well, was my son telling the truth? Did he understand what was being said to him? Um, and fortunately, his neuropsychologist was at the meeting and he was able to explain that my son did not tell lies because he was an autistic person. Right. And autistic people don't know necessarily how to lie right. and secondly he was not um, cognitively impaired which was not the word that they were using but mm -hmm. it's the word I'm using and that he was really able to tell when someone was being mean to him and wow. using that word that we all hate that begins mm -hmm. with an R. Is